Let us pray. Holy God, we ask your forgiveness for the things we've done wrong. Hold us close as we try to do a better job next time. And thank you. Thank you for the mercy that you show us and all the second chances that you offer us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hi, I'm Reverend Susan, and this is the Blessing of the Week from St. Paul's Ventura. Quick reminder that life is a journey, and that every week offers us the opportunity to grow closer to God and live a more fulfilling life. So let's make the most of it, shall we? In the Episcopal Church, we teach seven practices for living a Jesus-centered life. It's something we call the way of love, and it includes these practices. Turn, learn, pray, worship, bless, go, and rest. Over the past seven weeks, we've looked at each of these practices, giving you some encouragement to welcome them into your life. I'd like to encourage you to continue working to incorporate these practices into your everyday life, to use them and make them your own. If you want to live a more fulfilling life, this is a great way to do it. God bless you on your continuing journey. I'm going to be having back surgery next week, and so I'm going to be out for about six weeks recovering. Know that I continue to hold you all in prayer while I'm away. If you've enjoyed these weekly resources, please let us know. And let's talk for a few minutes about what happened in church last Sunday. We continued our journey through the Gospel of Luke, and we started in chapter 18, where we heard another challenging parable. Boy, it's been one challenging parable after another these last many weeks. We heard Jesus teach about the importance of prayer and encourages us to pray often and to never despair because God loves us and will certainly respond with goodness, justice, and mercy. Did you hear that call in Jesus' lesson? Try to accept it as something that you'll put into your own heart. Jesus says you should not despair. Hold on, have faith, and trust in God. Next week, we're going to continue the study of the chapter of Luke, chapter 18. And again, we're going to find Jesus teaching the importance of humility. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, but all who humble themselves will be exalted. And though we may be faithful in all things and steadfast in prayer, pride can still be a stumbling block. So again, we're reminded that it's not our own greatness that makes it possible for us to do the things that we do. It is the greatness of God. To God goes the glory. Join us as we glorify God and give thanks for our many blessings. Come hear thought-provoking scripture, beautiful music, and an uplifting message of hope and love. Come to church on Sunday and get inspired. St. Paul's offers a lot of resources to help you grow in faith this week. We have videos and action suggestions. There's much more. Check them out in the description below. You'll find lots of resources there that can be very helpful for you. So in the midst of this busy week, I'd like you to remember that you are loved and cherished by God. You are an amazing creature with great potential. Do what you can to make this world a better place. Pray for those who are in need and surround everyone who suffers with light and love and God's blessing. Remember, prayer is not where we end, it's where we start. Once we've said our prayers, then we go out and spread the love and the light of Christ all over the world. Remember, you are called as a light of Christ. Your prayers, your help can make this world a better place. So come lean in for a quick blessing, then go out and make it a great week. During the month of October, we remember St. Francis of Assisi, so I'm going to give you a Franciscan blessing. Let us pray. May God bless you with discomfort and easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships, so that you may live deep within your heart. May God bless you with anger and injustice, oppression, and the exploitation of people so that you may work for justice, freedom, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer pain, starvation, and war so that you may reach out your hand to comfort them and turn their pain to joy. And may God bless you with enough foolishness to believe that you can make a difference in this world so that you can do what others claim cannot be done. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest upon you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen.
there you go. You are blessed. Go out and share what God has given you and make the world a better place. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. God bless you.